So far, I've talked a lot about the actions available in drafts, but what I haven't mentioned yet is the actions directory, and that's really a power tip. So I'm going to go up to the upper right corner and hit the plus button, and you'll see the visit action directory here at the bottom, and I'll go ahead and tap on that. And that's bringing me to a website, and this is hosted by the people behind drafts. And what this is is a collection of really powerful actions that you can perform in drafts. You can download it into the app directly from this website. And these are created by a bunch of really smart programmers, including some of the folks behind the drafts application itself, and a bunch of people who don't frankly work for drafts, but really love the application and, and make these for the community. The good news is you don't need to have a lick of programming knowledge to take full advantage of these. For example, here's one that allows me to search on Google, so I'll go ahead and tap that. And it gives me a brief description of what this does, but in essence I can select any text and then search it on Google. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. So I'll tap the install button and it'll open it in drafts. And then drafts will ask me where to place it. I'm going to put it in the basic list. And then I can add a message. And I can select some of the words in there. And I'm going to hit the drafts action and say search on Google. And you can see it'll search Max Sparky. So I've just added the power of Google search to my drafts just by downloading the action directory Google action. So here I go. I'm going to go back into the action directory and find another one. The developer behind Drafts has another application called Interact, which is a real powerful contact manager for iOS. And of course, there's a great set of action directory actions for it in Drafts. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And then you can see a list of available actions. I'm going to go ahead and select this one, Search and Interact. So once I tap on that, I get a description. It searches my contacts and Interact using the selected text. That sounds useful. So I'll go ahead and hit Install. I'm going to save that to the basic list. And now I've got that added to my directory. There it is at the bottom. So if I were typing a new message. So I've got this question in drafts. And I could actually search Interact for the number for Lynn Barcada. I'm going to double tap the last name. And then I'm going to hit the action directory and scroll to the bottom. Search and Interact. And it's going to go and Interact and find her contact information. It's just crazy what you can do with this application if you start digging into the action directory.